Hey internet! Um, so tonight I thought we would make a little rabbit, a little chibi bunny if you will. It's um, we're about two days into spring 2014 and it is still brutally wintry out there. It snowed again last night, we got another 15 or 20 centimeters. I'm just so sad. We're fighting against Mother Nature. We're gonna make a little baby bunny. And this little baby bunny can be worn, it can be turned into a charm, um, or it might just make a cute little toy or present for somebody you know. We've got our scissors, our um, yarn needle, we've got two hooks. I use two hooks because the majority of the rabbit is going to be made using my favorite G6 or a 4.25 millimeter hook. Um, for the little guy's inner ear, I used a tiny baby yarn. So this is really, really skinny stuff. And due to the nature of the small skinny yarn, I used a smaller hook. Now it's not smaller by much, it's only a four millimeter hook, um, <clears throat> but that 0.25 of a millimeter actually makes quite a difference. So that's the hook I used for the much smaller yarn. I have a bit of felt standing by with a needle and thread. You guys can embellish your rabbits any way you like, or not at all. And I've got some beads for his eyes, just sort of standing by as well. Again, you guys can do whatever you want in terms of the face. <clears throat> this is mostly about little munchkin body. So he's gonna sit there and watch us. <laughs> We're gonna start with the head. The head is a ball. It is made using a magic circle. And we do that by wrapping your yarn and creating a loop. Grab my big hook, go through the loop grab the yarn, pull it up, and before you do anything else, wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it back through that loop, and that locks your hook in place. I should say locks your loop in place. Uh, I also should mention that uh, for uh, drinking, today's drink of choice for little rabbit is a uh, Guinness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lovely. All right, you have created your magic circle. Into this magic circle, we are going to single crochet six. So single crochet is through the center, wrap, bring back the yarn, wrap, go through both loops, into the circle, wrap your yarn, pull it back, you have two loops on your hook, wrap, go through both, that's two, I'm going to do three, and four, Five and six. Hold your work right at the last stitch. Grab your little tail, pull it tight, and you've got a magic circle. This head, as is most of the rabbit, is worked in the round. So there's no slip stitch joining. We're just going to work directly into the next stitch and we're going to single crochet, two single crochets into each of the six stitches all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. So here we go. Little tail, just so I weave it in. And that's four. That's row two finished. Row three, we're going to single crochet two into the next stitch, one into the stitch after that. So two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around till we have a total of 18 stitches. Always good to count out loud. We go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 
9, we are doing it to 10, 11, that's 2 into the same, 12, so we're at 12 already, 13, 14, 15, and one more set of 3, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, that is straight uh, mathematical increasing. So technically you've got a nice flat round circle. This is the top of the head. For the next three rows, we're just going to single crochet straight all the way around. So into the next. So there's no more increasing, just straight single crochet. We're going to zip along now for three rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that was quick. Okay. So, this is how I count my rows. The first row is this tiny wee little circle in the middle. That was our, our uh, sort of cinch circle or our magic circle. And I count the rows out. So that was row one, row two, row three, four, five, and six. And I've now completed row six. So now I'm going to start making the circle into the, the actual ball shape. I'm going to finish the ball. So now I'm going to start decreasing. So we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So we increase, or I should say we insert our hook, pull up a loop, and insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. You wrap your yarn, you go through all three. And the pattern here is single crochet two together, single crochet into the next. So that was two. We just straight single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to single crochet two together again. So insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, wrap, go through all three, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet two together, insert, pull up a loop, insert, Pull up a loop, one, two, three, wrap, go through all three, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet two more together, insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, one, two, three, wrap, go through all three, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet two together, insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, Crap. Go through all three. Single crochet into the next. Single crochet two together. Insert. Pull up loop. Insert. Pull up loop. Crap. Go through all three. And single crochet one. That brings us back down to 12 from 18. Uh, we're going to Decrease one more row. So this is row eight. We're going to, uh, for row eight, we're going to single crochet two together all the way around. That'll bring us to a total of six stitches. So single crochet two together. That's one. Single crochet two together. That's two. Single crochet two together. That's three. Two together. Four, two together, five, and the last set of two, six. Now is a good time to stuff the head of your rabbit. So grab some stuffing, break it up into little pieces, and stuff it into my little ball here. And I want the head to be pretty firm because when I attach the ears and whatnot, I want it to be, actually I want the whole thing to be pretty firm. This is another project that uh, might be handy to have some, um, some beans like bean bag beans um, lying around. You could stuff some beans into the body of this little thing. Just makes it sort of a little more bottom heavy. It'll sit upright. 
Uh, but I'm probably going to end up wearing this little guy as a charm and, uh, and his friend here that I'm making. Uh, because I tend to I tend to wear all of my crochet. Okay, I think that is pretty pretty stiff. Okay, to finish off the head, this is going to be the bottom of the head. This is the part that attaches to the the body of the of the little chibi. Instead of single crocheting any more together, we're going to slip stitch around the posts of the previous row. Now by slip stitching around the posts, I mean instead of inserting through the stitch, which would be that, we are going to look instead at the post, which is the little thing that runs between the two stitches. So I'm going to insert my hook into that post, I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook, and pull that yarn back through both. And I am going to slip stitch around the posts of the previous six stitches made in the previous row two together and when I finish this I will be finished the head and there you go see how it just completely cinches it shut there is no stuffing showing there is no open hole all you have to do now is fasten off. So I'm going to leave a longer tail so that I can sew the head to the body. So that should be enough. Just fasten off. And there you go. One head. And sit the head right there. Right. Take a quick beer break. All right, let's do the body. Body also starts with a magic circle. So you create your loop, hook through the loop, grab the yarn, pull it back, wrap, pull through the loop, magic circle. Uh, into this circle, we're going to single crochet four stitches. So, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Grab your work just below your hook, little tail, pull, and we're still working in the round so we're not slip stitching this row shut, we're just going to work directly into the next single crochet, and we are going to single crochet two into the next stitch, single crochet one into the next stitch, two, one, for a total of six. Here we go. I'm also going to work over my tail. One, two, one, one, two. Where are you? One. There we go. Total of six. All right, row three. We're going to increase again until we have nine. So we're going to go single crochet two into the next, single crochet one into the next, and repeat all the way around. So same pattern we just did. So one, two, and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's the end of row three. Row four, we're still increasing. We're going to increase to 12. We're going to change the pattern up a little bit. We're going to go into the next, single crochet into the next two stitches, and we're going to repeat that. So two single crochet, one, two, three, and four, two more single crochet, five, six, singles, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, and two singles, eleven, 
12. All right, that was our final row of increasing. That brings us up to 12. For the next two rows, we're just going to single crochet around. No increasing. Just one, two. Once you've finished your rows, you want to sort of take a look at your cone, make sure it looks pretty even, and then just fasten off. And There's the other chain. Lula has just come for this. That's not Lula, no, it's not Lula. It's not Jane. That's not right, Jane, it's uh, Val. Um, okay, so you don't need to leave a long tail on the body. You're just going to fasten off regular. And you're going to stuff it. So there's your little cone. Grab some stuffing. I am um, gonna put a little more in here. Now we're gonna make the bottom. And the bottom's really quick. We're gonna make another magic circle. So another magic circle, make a loop, hook through the loop, grab the yarn, pull it back, wrap, pull it through the loop. There's your little magic circle. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna put six into this magic circle. Okay, so one, Two, three, four, five, and six. Tighten it up. We're still increasing, no slip stitching. Two single crochet into each stitch around to make it a total of 12. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now we've made it twelve because we made this wound up the bottom of the body and managed to be twelve stitches all the way around. So what we've done is we've made a disc because it's twelve stitches all the way around, and we're going to fasten off with a slip stitch. We're going to leave a long tail because this is the tail we're going to sew the bottom to the body with. We're going to do that right now. So we're going to just sort of construct this rabbit as we go. So you take your tail, thread it through your yarn needle, grab your body, make sure you pick the top of your bottom, <laughs> top side or the right side of your bottom piece to sort of face outwards because in my opinion that looks the nicest. It also offers like sort of a nice flatter bottom. Uh, if you're like me, your knots, um, I just tuck my little tail into the middle of the, the body and just sew it together stitch for stitch since what you've done is made two pieces that are exactly 12 stitches all the way around, so it should line up absolutely perfectly. If while you're doing this you decide that you need a little more stuffing in your body, just put a little more stuffing in before you put on your last final stitches. Um, but uh, most stuffing sort of stays where you stick it. You just tuck it in, tuck it in if you have to with your yarn needle as you go. And this is done relatively quickly. I love sewing through through crochet stitches because it's just everything lines up so neatly. Alright, so there we go. That's the bottom. You're gonna knot off, so just stick your needle in anywhere. Make yourself a nice little knot. Knot it off. I like to uh, weave my yarn in through a few stitches just to sort of secure it. So I'll stick it through these four. There we go, and for the rest of it, I'm just going to bury it 
in the body of the chibi. So I'll work my way through the stuffing. Cut out one side. There we go. And just stick my heel in and work that tail in. Okay, um, so I am going to attach the head to the body while I get my new gear. And um, I like to build. I like to build my chibis as I work. So, like I, I mean, you could you could keep the head back until you get the the ears on it if you want to work with like a smaller thing in your hand. But I just find when you're building something that um, you know when you go to put on the ears and you want to see sort of like where they look best. I just find if the whole body's kind of aligned at that time, um, or the body's sort of been put together, it kind of gives you a better idea of where little things like ears and arms should go. So I am going to build, I'm going to just sit him, there you go. I'm going to actually uh, sew the head to the body. Um, so just kind of line the two together. Um, you've got a sort of a cinched six stitch um, circle to line up with a tiny little four. Um, cinch circle and I don't really think that's a problem because you're just gonna um, you're kind of just sort of cheat which is another thing I love about crochet you can just sort of cheat so I'm actually gonna sew this head slightly lopsided um, once again it gives it like a little bit of character just do this any way you like trust me it'll work out um, so I'm just gonna that's my first real stitch and I think I'll pick that as the next stitch. And just kind of keep putting it in place as you go. Just sort of look at what you're doing. Take your time. Um, as long as you make sure your stitches are nice and tight, because you know you don't want this thing, you don't want the head flopping all over the place. In fact, the, the, the tighter the head looks to the body, the better in my opinion, and the less likely it'll fall over. So, just about, just about done, yeah. Chibi rabbit in the house. Okay. And one more. So, let's get that the roots. Make sure the yarn does not come out of your hook. Or split, for that matter. There we go. Okay. All right. Squish it together. Move it around. Uh, at this point, you'll kind of get an idea of where your front and back is. That's another neat thing that kind of happens when you build it as you go. It stands up. Um, you know, you can sort of see. It's sort of, to me, this looks like this could be a stomach and it could be looking forward or... This could be like a taller, flatter stomach, and he could be looking up. So it just depends on, you know, what you want. Um, I kind of, oh, that's cute too. Now he looks like he's, to me, that looks like he's looking up. So this is probably going to be my front. So I'm going to nod off. Now, we're going to move on to the ears. Their ears are done in two parts. So you make the ear, and then you make the inner ear. And... Uh, I just think the inner ear finishes off the rabbit and makes it look more like rabbit ears. So we're going to do the ears first. You want to make two of these. And then we're going to do the inner ear and you want to make two of those. And I'm going to show you how to make one of each. And then we're going to probably sort of zip through making the second two. And we're going to make the arms. We're going to sew it all together. And then you're going to have a rabbit. So just sit you back down here. So here we go. This is the main part of the ear. Amazingly enough, we're going to start with a magic circle. So create your loop, hook through loop, grab yarn, wrap and pull through loop. I'm making a tiny little magic circle, as you can see, because I just don't need to make it very big, because I'm only going to put four stitches into the circle. So four single crochet, here we go. One, two, three. And four, la la. Pull it tight. We're still working in the round, so round two, we're just going to work into the very next stitch. We're going to do 
two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet for a total of six. And I'm going to weave in my little tail as I go. So, one and two. Three. Four and five. Oops. And six. All right. Two single crochet, single crochet into the next two. So we're going to go two, one, one, two, one, one for a total of eight stitches all the way around. So here we go. One. Two, single, single, one, two, single, single. So now we have eight stitches all the way around. Rows three, I should say that was row three. Rows four and five are just going to single crochet all the way around straight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was one row. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And I'm going to put in a couple more stitches just to bring me around to even it out. Okay. <laughs> Stop messing with my hood. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, row six. We are going to decrease from eight stitches where we're currently at. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Leave my hood alone. Uh, we're going to. So we're at eight stitches, we're going to bring it down to six stitches. We're going to single crochet two together, single crochet one, single crochet two together, single crochet one, and single crochet two together. That equals one stitch. One into the next. Single crochet two together. Actually, you know what? I, I lied. We're going to single crochet two together. Single crochet one. And actually, no, that's right. Single crochet two together. Single crochet one. Single crochet two together. Single crochet one. That's four. And single crochet two together. Oops. It's a little trickier when it's this tiny. There we go. And single crochet into the next one. Okay, now we're dealing with a very small opening. And I just want you guys to zoom in on that. Okay, give me a second here. Okay. Let me let me get this centered. <laughs> Nobody sneeze. <laughs> okay. So what you're looking at is a very small hole. There are six stitches all the way around here. And it's a bit tricky, but we're going to do one more row of straight single crochet into these six stitches. You're not going to decrease, you're just going to single crochet. So be careful to make sure you get a single crochet into each of the previous row's stitches. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. It may take a little bit of manipulation of the ear on your part. For three single crochet. Four single crochet, five single crochet, oops, and one more, six. Okay. Now, when you flatten it, gosh darn it, doesn't that look like an ear? That is so cute. <laughs> so, we're going to fasten off by slip stitching into the next stitch, just slip stitch. And you're going to cut off uh, quite a tail. You want to leave yourself a tail because you're going to sew it to the rabbit head with it. So uh, not too much, but enough that you can do some sewing. There we go. You're going to make two of those. And 
Then you're going to make an inner ear. So I'm going to show you how to do the inner ear. And then we're going to pause while I catch up. And you guys make your other ear. But first we're going to make an inner ear. So I've picked a nice light pink. <coughs> I guess I can put down this hook. I'm going to use a smaller hook because this is a much skinnier yarn. So I'm going to move down to my 4 millimeter hook. But you're more than welcome to try 3.5 or 3.75 or whatever size you might have that you feel comfortable with working with this skinnier yarn. Um, and, this, and the tinier your hook when you're using skinnier yarn, the smaller your, your stitches are going to be. So the less holes you'll have in it, the less lacy it'll look. But um, this is a slightly different thing. We're going to start with a uh, slip stitch. So just create a slip, slip knot. I should say not slip stitch, but a slip knot on your hook. And we're going to chain, um, we're going to chain six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to slip stitch into the second and third chains from the hook. So slip stitch into that one and slip stitch into this one and into the next three chains. You're going to single crochet. So there's one, two, and we've reached the bottom, three. Into the same last stitch that you just did your last single crochet, you're going to single crochet twice more. So for a total of three in this last stitch. And then you're going to turn your work and work up the back side of it. So now we're working up the back side of the original chain. Into the next two stitches, you're going to single crochet. So single crochet and single crochet. Then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And you're going to slip stitch again into the back of the first stitch. So it's a little tricky. Chain one, snip your yarn, leave a long tail or longish for sewing, and just pull it through. There you go. That is going to be the of your ear. So we're going to take a quick break, have some beer, you guys are going to make up your second set, then we're going to sew them together and we're going to attach them to the monkey, or to the, to the rabbit, the monkey. Look at me, I'm just monkey obsessed. Okay. <laughs> I will talk to you guys in just a second. So I've just whipped up the second ear, or the first ear, I'm not really sure which, which this is, and I've sewn the inner ear to the outer ear, so it looks like a rabbit ear. And that is how it's going to look when it's finished. So we've already made the outer ear, we've made the inner ear, and we're going to take the tail from the inner ear, thread it through our yarn needle. You're going to flatten your outer ear so it looks like uh, a nice flat surface to work on. You're going to line up your inner ear pretty much wherever you want it. Just hold it with your thumb. Pardon me, and we're going to just start sewing. And I'll give myself a little more tail here. Get in there. Hold on, there we go. Okay. So, uh, keep kind of pulling back and looking at it and realigning it. Pick stitches from your outer ear to sew your inner ear to, and basically just whip stitch it together. Sewing on top of crochet is very forgiving, um, so don't stress out too much about where you stick your yarn needle, because it'll look just fine. So, there we go, halfway done. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> gotta make sure. Lots of beer consumption. Lots of beer consumption in Canada. Lots of beer consumption in Canada. <laughs>
And crochet incidentally. <laughs> Cro crochet yarn, yarn consumption. Yarn, <laughs> yarn and beer consumption. Okay, I have sewn the inner ear onto the outer ear. Um, to finish it, I'm just going to kind of stick my hook in at the top of where my inner ear goes. I'm going to bring it out at the bottom. I'm not going to pull too tightly. I'm going to create a knot. So I'm just going to use the bottom stitch. I'm just going to quickly knot it off. Like seriously, this is not you know super fancy because you can't see these uh, stitches. I'm just gonna weave it in without it being seen and bring it out through the bottom of the ear. And now at this point, you could just snip this bit bit off, but I'm just gonna stuff it up into the inside of the ear, so it'll act as a little wee bit of stuffing. And uh, it's just one less little scrap that goes into the landfill. Okay, that is two rabbit ears. Gosh, wouldn't that be cute, like, on a ring somehow? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be just perfect for, hang on, hang on, I can pull <laughs> Oh yeah, wouldn't that be like the cutest little little like ring for Easter? Oh yeah, okay. Also cool. a very deadly uh, attack weapon, well, I guess, if you needed. Maybe to... if it was crocheted wire, <laughs> I don't think yarn's gonna Bunny punch. scare anybody off. Bunny punch. Okay, uh, let's. We're gonna attach our ears to our chibi rabbit, the head. I'm going to pick what I think is the front. You guys can pick whatever front you like. Pick one ear, weave your tail into your yarn needle, and just sew it to the top somewhere. So once you've kind of placed what you think, where you think you like it. So I think that's going to work out. There is no fine science to this. This is just take a spot. And like nail it down. And I'm probably going to do three official stitches through this ear. Um, where you put it, or just make sure it's affixed strongly. And it looks even. So there, see that to me, he's it's on there nice and tight. I probably only did like three stitches, but because I'm using the yarn that I actually crocheted it with, it doesn't really require a whole lot of extra stuff. Um, I'm gonna just bring it out through a common stitch at the back of the rabbit because once I get the other ear on, I'm gonna knot these two strings together. I mean, that might be... No, that's fine. Okay. Ear number two. So, same thing. Pick up your rabbit. Decide where you're going to put the ear. And just start the last one. <coughs> and I'm going to just knot these two strings together. And like everything else, I'm just going to weave it in. It's the fastest little thing to make. Okay, holy cow, this is so cute. <laughs> All right, so now we've got a body, a head, two ears. How do you think you're friends so far? Hello, hello, hello? Oh, you haven't got a face yet. Never mind. Okay, fine. All right, now he needs two arms and he needs a tail. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my yarn out of the way. <laughs> More interaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two arms. We're going to do these really quick. I'm going to use the same bigger hook that I had made the rest of the body with. You're going to make a magic circle. And after you've made your magic circle, you're going to single crochet four stitches into this circle. So, one, two, three, 
four. Cinch your circle shut. And you're gonna do two rows straight of single crochet. So this is gonna be a bit tricky because you're dealing with such a small number of stitches. But if you are nice and patient, and you just work through it, kind of force the, the center of your work out, um, just to kind of keep it out of the way. All right, so that's gone around once. And I'm going to go around one more time. So, that's one, two. It's a little messy at first, but then it makes sense afterwards. Here, three, and four. Okay. Oops, a little fluffy showing there. Get in there. Get in there. All right. That is three rows of four stitches each. I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch. Tricky, very tricky. Slip stitch. And cut a relatively long. Same reason. I'm going to sew it to the body using that. And one arm, same thing for the second arm. Two arms. Now we're going to sew the arms down to the rabbit. So you're going to pick a spot right at the side of the rabbit, put your needle through a couple of stitches, and like the ears, there's no real fine science to this. Just make sure you sew it down fairly flat to the body. The neat thing about this is that every time you put arms on one of these little chibis or rabbits, it's going to be doing a different sort of thing. So this guy might look like he's going, yay! And other ones might look like they're just sort of out for a stroll. But that's part of their uniqueness and why they're so cute. And we just love cute stuff over at Jade and Stitches. All right, and once you've done that, you give it a couple of extra stitches. Um, I do, I, I pull my thread through to the middle. Do the same thing that I did with the ears, and I'm going to knot both strings together at the backs. Oh my gosh, look, he's waiting. Ow! 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 <laughs> Other arm, keys. <laughs> To the body of the rabbit. There we go. All right, and there you've got it. One chibi bunny. Now, from here, you can do what I did and stick in a couple of beady little eyes. You can embroider on a nose. I forgot I put a little tail on this dude, and uh, I think that kind of is what makes a rabbit. So this is really quick. We're going to make a magic circle. We're going to single crochet six into the magic circle. Slip stitch the circle shut and fasten off with a long tail. And I will demonstrate. So, since this is for the yellow rabbit, we are going to make our loop, draw up a loop, and pull the yarn through it. There's our magic circle. Looks like that. Single crochet one, two, three, Four, five, and six. 
pull it tight. And we're going to slip stitch. And I'm going to grab my scissors. Leave a tail for sewing. And pull it off. There we go. Okay. That's it for the crocheting part. Now we're going to sew it to the back end of the bunny. So just sort of like squeeze it down and turn it into a little tail. <laughs> a little ball. <laughs> um, you can take the, the shorter tail and stuff it in. Um, this kind of gives it a little bit of stuffing. Or if it's too long, you can just cut it right off. Um, I'm just going to stuff mine in here. And treat it like stuffing. I may have to manipulate a bit that a bit when I'm sewing. Okay. Pick a spot on the back end of your bunny and just start sewing. So no fine science here. Just pick up loops on your rabbit and make sure you keep kind of putting it where you want it as you go. And uh, pull your string kind of taut because that helps cinch it together and makes it a little more bunny tail like. And pretty soon you're back at the front. One more stitch. It nice and tight <laughs> and just knot it off any old place uh, I usually make a knot make sure it's nice and tight and then start weaving it in anywhere there we go and I'm just gonna bury this string inside the rabbit The other quick way of doing this is to just re-thread it and drag it back through the rabbit. Or you can cut it off completely. In fact, what I'm going to do with this a little bit. There. One finished rabbit with a face and a tail. So, very sorry <laughs> I left that off last night. But he's finished now! Um, if you have any questions, like, you know, is there anything else I've forgotten, don't hesitate to ask, and uh, I will do my best to answer. Thanks very much, guys, and uh, we'll have another little, another little Easter-y, springy-looking tutorial <laughs> very soon. <laughs>